Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you for being here. I truly appreciate you clicking on to see what's going on here. So this is going to be um, a review video that I am doing for the Angel Tarot deck. Okay, so now I've been inclined to do these reviews for you. I'm going to do it Monday through Friday. Don't know specifically what day, but I definitely will adding, be adding some. I will be creating a playlist of all of the tarot decks that I have acquired. Uh, the tarot decks that are like this and also the tarot decks from self um I don't know, how do I say it? Self-publishing or self-creating individuals who put their all into a deck. So we're not only going to review um, these type of decks, we're also gonna, re we're gonna review all of them. Just forget it, we're gonna review all of them. So with that being said, I leave it to my Angel Tarot deck to say I am the first, because let me tell you something. Um, one tip I want to give to you guys, if you're thinking of going into maybe just purchasing one deck for personal use or a deck collector like I am, I have collected, um, but I also use. Now, if somebody gives you a deck that is very beautiful, that has power within itself as well too, but also... When you go to purchase a deck, um, you should go by not what everybody has. Go by what speaks to you and what makes you feel comfortable. Um, because there are some decks out there in the market that I have... How, to, how, to, how do I say this? That I have not really steered towards um, because of the lettering or the title that is on there and i don't want to say what that is but that's how it is i am very very selective with selective with the decks um angel tarot was one of those decks now angel tarot i did get through amazon so if you are going to be buying a deck through amazon make sure that you scroll all the way to the bottom where the reviews are at and look at the pictures that other buyers are putting up because majority of them do sort of like a picture of all the cards or they show you the packaging or they talk about the book that it comes with so just make sure you look at these reviews um i don't really per se read them i like the ones that have pictures because i can look at a picture and i can tell if it's an official deck or not and i mostly love official decks um, I don't like those, what, I don't know how to say it, copied or reprinted ones um, that are not an original copy because sometimes you get a little bit more with an original. But you can get a copied one and it can still uh, do its thing, do the purpose that it's meant to do, okay? So there's no difference there in that. It's just personal preference. So now, let's get right into this, you guys. We're going to review this deck. Um, this is one of my favorites. And this is um, another thing I do want to point out. If you <clears throat> are a reader or a collector or whatever, and you're going to be putting them to use, you will be noticing that some are more... Uh, how do I say? They're more dominating than others. Some decks are more dominating than others. This deck right here wants to be in every reading. Um, literally, I have to kind of like tune it out intuitively so that I don't steer towards it. But 95% of the, the time, it wants, and I almost said chance, because it always wants to just be in there. Now, lately... The purpose that they've been wanting to do is the end all be all of all my readings, <coughs> which is they want to be the ending of it. It's like this is this is what we're saying. This is what it is. And that's it. And let me tell you, they can get pretty. Uh, let me see how I could say this. 
the messages that come through from this deck sometimes are pretty stern. I'm going to use the word stern, like just this is what's going to happen. This is what it is. Nothing you can do about it, right? Like it has this sort of like calming um, vibe to it. But then it's like, it can go zero to a thousand real quick with the whole, uh, some of the, the angels are carrying a chopped head. You'll see that when I do the flip through now. So yeah, so let's look at the box. So this is the packaging for it. Very stern. This is the back of it. Okay. So wait, it's flipped. So let me turn it over so you guys can see it properly. So this is the backing of it. Now, what I'm going to tell you about this particular packaging is it comes with a ribbon in the inside. So when the cards are in here, make sure this is out. <clears throat> because if not, when you put the whole deck in there, it can possibly get stuck and it can be difficult to get out. Now, I don't know about everybody else, but I like to keep, especially when it comes to my decks, I like to keep them in pristine condition. Um, I don't even like them to bend which I know is terrible because it's like the person is not able to tell that I used, but these, trust me, I use these cards already, like a lot. So yeah, you want to make sure the ribbon is out. And then on top, it will lay the, um, this is the book for it. Very nice book. It has, I will tell you right now, 106 pages. Okay. These are with the meanings, with the description. It gives you an introduction from Thomas McHarry. Well, Henry. Okay. Um, I love the way these cards are. The cards, I'm going to hold this stack up. This is the major arcana. Gold filled. Okay. So this is the perk of getting the original deck versus a copy deck look at look at that gold fill that these cards have um they're kind of like a matte finish okay very sturdy but like i said of course you know cards like this can get damaged so um it's all about what the person does with them now i just want to go to page 22 i think page 22 is the most important page in this book this actually gives you a breakdown of what's on every single card, okay? So there's the tarot correspondence. Let me flip one over. There's the tarot correspondence in the top, okay? There's the angel's name that I'm going to tell you right now, majority of the time, and they already know, like the deck already knows that this is what I do. I skip the name of the card because I cannot pronounce it. So <clears throat> I am Hispanic. So for me, it's going to come out a bit Spanish-ish, right? With, with that accent. So it's kind of like, I kind of do not really say the name. Sometimes I'll try to. For the major archangels, right? I'll say the name because of course, they're the popular ones. We all know them. So then the next feature on the card is the angelic number. So this circular right there that has the angelic number of the angel, right under that we have the meaning of the angel's name, which is right here, right under the circle. Then we have the depiction of the angel. Then right here we have the astrological meaning of the card and the angel both together. <coughs> this is a summoning sigil, and this is the pentacle of, forgive me for the name, Tors, Torsgreth, Tors, Taz Greek, Taz Greek. I'm going to leave it at that. So now I wanted to read something to you guys real quick that I did notice um, is in here which is the difference between the archangels and the angels, okay? And this is on page six. So it says, archangels, 
Archangels are the chief leaders of the angels that appear among mortals. Their power is great and they serve God directly. And then the angels is angels are the messengers of divine light who descend from the heavens to minister to mortals. They have diverse powers and roles and some are given specific tasks. They are capable of performing great miracles and unleashing tremendous destruction. So, <clears throat> excuse me, that made me cough within itself. I got to take a sip of water. Because that's exactly what I was trying to say. It's like the feeling that you get from these cards. They go from calm to like, they're snapping. Yeah, this is like, I'm telling you. So let's do the flip through here. Um, <clears throat> let's begin. Actually, I want to begin with the archangels. They're right over there, all of them on the side so that you guys can know which ones have been used. Now, we've got Michael. He is the chariot in this deck. Um, of course, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Michael. There's always a sort of like a statue where he's like stepping on some type of demonic figure, right? Um, so that is Michael there, the chariot. Like you're not going to stop anything, right? Then we're getting here the moon. This is Gabriel, okay? Well, very interesting that Gabriel would be um, the moon because I've always felt like the moon has a lot to reveal for us. And right here, the astrological meaning, it says divine revelation. And and there's, of course, there's more, but I'm not going to read all of that to you. I just want you guys <coughs> to be able to see um, what's going on with this deck. So this is Metatron. And Metatron is... Uh, Wheel of Fortune. He is the recording angel. So it's like you'll get to learn them a little bit more. And the book specifically describes more of like the meaning. And like this one is advancements and progress teaches, guides, and records events in the book of life. The recording angel. Like what better um, meaning? The next one here, the lovers, is represented by Hanel. Um, I think it's an angel and a human, okay? So I will tell you, um, some of the depictions are, you know, a bit controversial. Um, <clears throat> and I'm only saying that because I don't want to say some people tend to be sensitive I'm just going to say it. Some people do tend to be sensitive towards what they see in the cards. And it's like when an individual is creating a deck, they're not really thinking of how, <clears throat> like, how is a person going to take it? They're really more thinking of the message that's coming in, the image that they're channeling, um, the meaning, the purpose, like there's so much that people put into it so i feel like if you look at it from an open mind it will you know kind of like phase that out um next one here is samuel <clears throat> and this is the gentleman from downstairs but in this deck he doesn't make me say that like he doesn't make me say he's the gentleman from downstairs um in this deck <clears throat> it's more like the before. And then we see here, it's like the astrological meaning seduction and downfall. Communicates with the dead, teaches the occult and magic. So it's kind of like there's, it's like there's, there's a purpose behind this or the purpose that was behind before everything. I'm assuming. I don't know. This is the tower. And this is Uriel, the fire of God. Now, th th this this crazy baby, <laughs> you'll, you're going to see him again. And um, I don't know where he's at. I think he might be in the swords deck. I'm 
just guessing. When he pops right out, I'll tell you again. This this little guy, we got to watch out for him. Um, disruption warns of disaster, aids in transformation. So, yeah, this is the tower card. I'm telling you, some of them, they just be woof. So let's continue with the Arcana, the major Arcanas. It is not in order um, because I had to, I wanted to pick out the Archangels so that you guys can see them. So let's go through them. The Hangman, number 21 or Angel 21, okay. Judgment, uh, Angel 52, yeah. He's a force to be reckoned with, I'm telling you. Like, they just, they, they, they look creepy, but then it's like, once you read the purpose and you, and once you understand the tarot and you know what's going on behind that tarot card or that tarot meaning, it's like, th this is fitting. You have to be scared of an angel, especially if it's a judgment. Because how are you going to get yourself together? <laughs> this is the strength card here. This is a number 16. Now, look look at that. There's like one, two, three, four baby angels there. They're all like accumulated together. Like to pick that one angel up. So crazy. Here we've got the fool. He's kind of cute. He he kind of reminds me of Cupid. So of course that's number one. We've got the hermit here. Okay. Uh number 70. You know, and I've always been trying to figure out like what this is. This little sway thing right here. I don't know. I don't know if it's one of those like horn things that they blow into and it makes noise. Um, but he's a very interesting character too. And he's number 70. All right. So let's see here. We've got the magician here. Yeah, he don't got no cups. He don't got no swords. He don't got no wands. He don't got nothing. He don't got no cape. He doesn't even have a crystal. You know what he has? The palm of his hand. Yeah. Like, that's very interesting. I find that so intriguing. Uh, the Hierophant, number nine. This is the Hierophant here. Very interesting. Uh, justice, of course, looks like justice. There's the scales. There's the sword. Uh, number 18. The Empress, 48. Now, I like the Empress card a lot, only because the depiction of the snake here, and it's like she's trying to, I really want to say, it's not that, to me, it's not that she's trying to get wisdom from the snake. It's like she's trying to change the snake, and it's but it's not affecting her because it's not making her change color. Um, so that's 48 there. Here's the High Priestess. Okay, High Priestess. And this is number 44. Death card. Interesting. We've got a little time capsule going on there. So crazy. And look at the name of it, God, the end of the universe. Wow, that's, that's, but look at what it says for the astrological meaning. Endings and rebirth influences health and longevity. So the angel influences health and longevity, but then the astrological meaning is the endings and rebirth. So you see how the individual put that together. Like, it's so beautiful. Um, temperance, 35 the god the god of joy right the world 65 god the source of wisdom i love that i love when they have like sort of this little red depictions going on it just makes me feel like what else am i missing right um sun card three little babies 
three little babies. They're just playing. I don't know what that one has. He looks like he has a rattle. One has a trumpet. Like they're just, and it's the vilifying God, 64. Restoration of life protection from, this is the one that I never understood. Protection from adversity, adversaries, rabies, and wild beasts. So I don't know if it's just like the time of the year that animals come out. I don't know. I don't know, guys. The emperor. Yep. The emperor. He looks kind of cool. But he looks like he's tired of ruling. This is a like unto God. Political authority gives safe travel and protects against conspiracies. Wow. This is the star card here. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, this is 32. God the just. Clemency and equilibrium protects against and attacks, protects against attacks in the courts. So this is like a court type of card. So let's go into the wands here. Now these I did put in order because, you know, I'm not going to give you guys a review and then just go through cards that are all out of order. No. Ace of Wands, 30. The Patient God. Fertility, multiplicity, protects against despair, helps one be patient. Helps one be patient. Two of Wands. This is number two. The Helping God. Love and wisdom, victory over those who would attack you. Three of Wands. Now, you know, this one kind of makes sense to me, but sometimes it doesn't because it's a Three of Wands. It's the third card. It's the God of Hope. The angel has six feathers, three on each side, right? And it's like construction of the universe, help with great works, protection from adversaries. So it's like, there's the concept of the three of wands, but then it's like, if you're a reader and, and you get this, this deck, like these cards will speak to you differently, okay? So sometimes, sometimes I do argue with the cards. That's, that's bad habit. <laughs> uh, four of wands. This is number five, God the Savior. Rectification helps one live in peace with everyone. Four of Wands. Living in peace with everyone. Very, very interesting. And this angel has one, two, uh, there's six, six wings on there. They're all completely illustrated differently. Um, I like the fact that, so this is an example of it. This, this is an angel. Of course, he has no clothes, but he's got like this, this ribbon on him, right? On that area. So it's like, it's still, it's, it still keeps the purity of things, right? It, it covers up when it needs, like, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful in a sense, the way they made these cards. Um, the way Travis made these cards. Uh, Five of Wands, 26. God listening in concealment. Politics ambition wins judgment and protects all those who seek the truth. Now, that's a statement within itself. I mean, you can even just like pull one card for yourself and just read the meaning and just go about your day. You know, like some people do that. Um, Six of Wands. This is 28. God who took evil. Interesting. Very fierce. So I hope you're getting the sense too of like the calmness and the fierceness, the warning the silence before the storm, like you can just sense it. This is longevity, protects against infirmaries. Okay. Seven of Wands, this is 29, the expected God. Now, this is a female. 
with the seven of wands but it you see she's like completely wrapped up her feathers are there but she's completely wrapped up um you don't see nothing but her arms and that even barely uh liberation deliverance from enemies both visible and invisible Eight of Wands, and this is number 49, the great and exiled God. Uh, grandeur makes one passionate towards God. So that's a beautiful one too. Nine of Wands. Okay, so here we go. This is where I personally feel it starts getting... Um, in too deep, so to speak. Uh, this is God the imperm God the impermeable, impermeable. I think I'm saying it wrong. Secret. Universal medicine, elevation of the soul, and the revelation of mysteries. What makes it seem creepy to me is how certain areas of her have red, but it's not. It's not blood. It's like the ribbon that's wrapping around her that's red. But it, it gives it this sort of like a destructive feel that's beginning to come in. Ten of Wands. This is number 53. God humiliating the proud. Here we go. You see, you see how it like it's kind of like if the energy begins to change, it begins to get more stern. So it says, um, spiritual communication influences religious men, teachers, and men of law. And another angel is coming in with another crown. Now this one is page of wands, 27, the preventing God. This is a propagation of light confounds the wicked and slanders saves from enemies and he is also covered up too um knight of wands okay so now this is god the good in himself 24 this is protection prevents discovery of secret crimes and saves exiles queen of wands number four the hidden god very interestingly enough completely covered covering herself with the feathers barely seeing the face there divine power guards against mental troubles <laughs> even with these cards with what's being said with it being the queen of wands with her covering herself it's like you can feel that vibe of protection coming in king of wands right here this is number 50 god the merciful judge eloquent gives answers to those in doubt this this guy has like this stance of like you've never seen you never you're gonna see now what you've never seen before <laughs> so there you go um next one now we're gonna move on to these swords. Here is where, I'm not even gonna say it, I'm just gonna keep going. Ace of Swords, 61. God above all names, elevated affinity and friendship. Obtain the friendship of anyone. Do you see what this looks like? It's like, uh, you're not, it's like protection being provided. Fierce protection at that. Uh, two of Swords, God, Lord of Virtues. Breaking the circle lifts opposing barriers and brings victory. I don't know if I said it, but this is 37. Three of Swords, the quickly forgiving God. Love and submission cures illnesses, influences paternal love, gives long life. Mm-hmm. And it's a female completely guarded, completely wearing armor. This one is interesting. This is the Four of Swords. This is 41, and this is the God of Trinity. 
Mission protects against slander and impudence people. Five of Swords. This is God, the highest being. Desire to know the acquisition of wisdom. So it's like one is terrified about the angel being there and the other one is not. Because it's like, yes, tell me what you need to tell me. <laughs> or tell me what I'm here to, what you're here to tell me. Um, 62. That was 62. That's five of swords. Um, this is the six of swords. Uh, this is the gentle God. Perception of unity protects against accidents, heals the sick. Okay. Uh, seven of swords. God nurturing and maintaining everything. Knowledge of good and evil. Appeases divine anger. Cures epilepsy. Uh, what did I say the number? 66. He just kind of looks like here. Just take it like I've been here this whole time. You haven't even asked me because that's what they say is that the angels are always wanting to help, but they can't intervene. It's kind of like you need to ask for help, so to speak. Here goes the crazy baby. I told you the crazy baby was going to come back out. This is eight of swords. God, protector and savior. Check him out. Truth and justice, protection from enemies who would steal one's fortune. It's kind of like off with his head. This, this card right here, Eight of Swords, crazy. Doesn't even need to be that way, but okay. Nine of Swords, 15, the comforting God. Purification, protection from the impunish religious sentiments. Now, it's, it's, it's like if the the one angel is going to get whacked in the back or something. And um, <clears throat> I don't want to offend nobody, but I just want to say there is a particular, I don't know if I should say religion. I think it is a religion where that's kind of like what they do. Um, and they consider that to be a way of punishing themselves and making themselves purified for God again. <sighs> Ten of Swords. Let's just move on. Ten of Swords. Um, the Marvelous God. Revelation protects from sadness. Gives revelations in dreams. And this is what it looks like. Beautiful. Um, did I say Page of Swords for that one? If I did, it's Ten of Swords because this is the Page of Swords. I'm sorry. Page of Swords, number 12, God Refuge. Refuge governs dreams, reveals mysteries hidden from mortals. So it's a very beautiful, like a treasure hunter. Knight of Swords, 59, the all-pervading God. Intellectual richness protects fertility of women, makes children respectful towards their parents. That's what I'm talking about. This is the angel we need to be calling on when the kids are bad. Uh, King of Swords. Well, Queen of Swords first, and then we'll do King of Swords. Queen of Swords. 38. God, the hope of all the earth. Uh, ritual and ceremony can acquire all the treasures of heaven and earth. And look at her sword. It's like up in flames. And then we have King of Swords. The baby. Again, the exalted God, number 11. Victory grants victory and protection from lightning. Okay, now we are moving on to the cups. Ace of Cups, 54. God, the King of Heaven. Rejuvenation obtains the mercy of God and gives long life. We have the Two of Cups. Yes, this is what it looks like. Um, the swiftly hearkening God. This is number 19. This is fruition, provides expansive intelligence and gives the grace of God. We have, hold on, three of cups. Number 22, the right hand of God, Frank, fame and re-own influence, commerce, 
Voyages and Great Discoveries, 22. This is the Four of Cups, Four Angels holding a cup. Number 23, the God Deflecting Evil. Healing, capacity, protection from weapons, safety, and travel. Five of Cups is just one angel with one big picture. Number 43, God King, the ruler, prosperity, destruction of the enemy, and deliverance from bondage. Six of Cups, God who steers all men. Motivation lifts up those who are fallen and humiliated. Then we have Seven of Cups, God the Just Judge, number 47. This is just an angel holding a time capsule. Contemplation makes the truth known in legal proceedings. Eight of Cups, God the Pleasure of Man's Children. Did I say that right? God the Pleasure of Man's Children. Okay, I did say it right, number 67. Um, transformation gives consolation in adversity. Nine of Cups, number 68, God the Kindest Giver. Healing preserves health and cures diseases. Ten of Cups, right? It's not what we're used to. Uh, she's actually kind of like kissing the forehead of a mother who has a child. God, Master of the Universe, Divine Warrior, confounds the wicked and brings victory and peace. Page of Cups, 40, God who rejoices, divine comfort, gives consolation and protection from one's enemies. See, and he's sort of covered up too there. Knight of Cups, Ariel. I don't know why they didn't make her an archangel. I have to read this card. Knight of Cups, Ariel, 46, the revealing God, perception and revelation discovers hidden treasure, reveals secrets of nature. Maybe it's just when they were being created, you know, it's like, this is what I want to do. I don't want to be over there with them. I want to be over here. Uh, Queen of Cups. Now this one here, I don't know if you guys have ever seen how people do those things of like, this is what a real angel looks like. I've seen this one in a I don't know what you do that computer programming or whatever when they do it um I've seen this one number 20 God the Redeemer redemption serves against enemies of religion governs chastity this one is really interesting King of Cups this is number 69 God see in everything restitution finds stolen objects and discovers the person responsible Mm, mm, mm. this one as well too i have seen it um this is the ace of pentacles the adorned god number eight divine blessings drives away evil spirits rules agricultural production two of pentacles this is 56 god who supports the universe fortune and fame fulfills any request Three of Pentacles, God hearing lamentations, 58. This is the mental force against, protects against sorrows and illnesses. Then we have Four of Pentacles. This is number 60, God liberating the oppressed. Self-attunement cures mental illnesses, deliverance from persecution. That's like the second, second to third card that has talked about mental, mental, right? So next we have the five of pentacles here. This is number seven. This is the forbearing God. Patience reveals secrets of nature, spreads knowledge and industry. Okay. Six of Pentacles, this is number 10, the favorable God, and this is divine grace, cures rage and pestilence, absolves the guilty. This is that baby, now he's wearing clothes. Huh. He goes from being bad to just 
I didn't do anything. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles is here. 57, the lovely God. This is discernment, general prosperity, the deliverance of prisoners. I feel like it's a mental prison though too. This is a lot of mental. So it's kind of like, because this is the pentacle suit, it's, it's kind of like, this is what affects us the most down here because pentacles are earthly. So this is what affects us the most down here. Um, the earth, right? Eight of pentacles. Number 31, God, the teacher, intellectual talent provides knowledge. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles, number 33, the omniscient God, submission to higher order, identifies traitors and destroys their plans. Ten of Pentacles, number 36, the honorable God, inner and outer work, helps one keep their job and protects against disasters. Then we have the Page of Pentacles. This is God's Son above all, number 13. Loyalty and allegiance, friendship and reconciliation. Knight of Pentacles, number six. The praiseworthy God. Light of understanding, acquires knowledge and cures illness. Queen of Pentacles. This is the 55, the eternal God. Intellectual lucidity provides consolation and compensations. And then we have here King of Pentacles, and this is number 34, the adorned God. Obedience causes harmony and peace, calms anger in anyone. And we are done with the very first review. Um, I would say this, putting them back in order uh, as they came, it kind of like gives them a reset too. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this review for this deck from Travis, I don't wanna mess his name up, McHenry. Okay, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next video. Bye now.